Hello everybody and welcome to the Vulgar Craft server. I'm Sidon H2O and today we're going to be building our vineyard. It, uh, we're going to need to build a path first. I think we'll come down here, follow this a little bit, and then cut down this way over here. Have it go towards the docks, you know. I think that's probably the best idea. That horse looks like he needs a path, so <laughs> we'll give him one. And uh, hopefully everything goes great. I just I did notice one little thing is weird on here. I wonder if I can change it from my... Oh, yeah, here we go. There we go. That should be exactly what we want. Oh, just as I started, it gets to nighttime. Of course. Just like every time I spawn. Or every time I record. Every time I spawn. Uh, yeah, so let's get some materials here. Uh, I should make some slabs out of those, actually. Take some of these, some of this. Okay. Yeah, let's make... Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll get rid of that. What else we got to make here? Should make... Yeah, some of these two. Maybe not as many of those. Okay, and we'll sleep, and we'll get started on this path. I think maybe three wide is good enough. It should look good, I think. So we'll start up here. This, uh, if you watch today's YouTube video, this used to be the ugliest house in the world. Luckily, you can fix anything with vines, so that's what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's dig out. I don't know exactly how I want it to go yet, but we'll do the three. Bring it all down here. Maybe we'll have it curve out a little here. And then follow this as a straight line. And then we'll turn it a little. I'll put in some uh, blocks just so we know that this is going to be where the path goes. And then I think yeah, we'll come down here. And as you can tell, this is all... Uh, I terraformed all this before, so it... Uh, isn't necessarily going to be full. So those are two. Oh, we need. I think. Hmm. Ah, we'll we'll figure it out when we get to it. Uh, I think this one needs to go though. We'll get this path all done, then we'll get to building the grapevines. And then hopefully. There will be time enough to you know, maybe take a look around, get some more stuff done. Oh yeah, this is this is getting real sketchy in here. <laughs> okay, but anyway, let's yeah, we'll go bring it down this way, just a little bit. Yeah, let me fix this quick while we have the grass in our inventory. Uh, this is really where it's going? Okay. Pop this all in here. There we go. Get this over here. And eventually this will all look like a path. Come down here. Yeah, I think I'm going to take these out too. I think these are too tall. We don't, we don't really want the path going like... Too far under anything right so like these should just peel back a bit and then i guess we need to jesus there's so many so many holes in this hill because i just went over the old hill i didn't bother <laughs> cleaning it up there we go yeah, actually i think maybe we'll do Something like that works. Maybe we'll take off a few of these even. Try to make it look somewhat random, but still planned somehow, you know? Because we just want to follow the terrain with our path. We don't really want to break any new ground kind of thing. 
Yeah, I think once we start putting in the half slabs and stuff, this will look a lot better. Uh, but we still need to go... Three out here. Uh, no, I think we're going to go at least like that. I'll pop down here like so. Yeah, and then I think we we just follow this right down. So I don't. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll dig it out, but I don't think we. I think we really only need like a few at the end here where it goes under. And everywhere else will be fine. And again, we kind of run into that problem again with this being too tall. So we put that there. I think that looks better. And we can take maybe these ones out. There. There we go. And I'm just going to actually deal with this as we come down. So I think we're good now. We have our basic path going. Not a this this is not good here. Let's take that out to like here. There we go. Now we can go in and just put in our path. And hopefully. Oh I don't use up all of our cracked ones. In fact, what we got here. I should just make Well, maybe not right now. I'll uh if I think I need some, I'll make some later. Uh, I am going to need that. I won't need the shovel. You ever need mossy? I can. I can always switch. So pop up here. Just put randomly wherever we want. Wait, was that? No, this wasn't part of it. This was supposed to be down here. Nope, not like that, thanks. Oh, uh, this also should be a third one out here, yeah. So this is three. Down here. That might be four, but we'll... Ooh, this is a weird... It's a weird corner here. Looks like it's going to go down a lot real quick. Um, okay, we can put slabs in. Slabs will help it. Hopefully. <laughs> if not, we can always add more grass in too. So. And down here. Yeah, and then I'll come back and do that after. Yeah, I think this one's out of place here. I think it should have been there. Put some mossy cobblestone on the way back. I don't want to use too much mossy though. It's not supposed to be like a wet path or anything. Maybe one there. And now let's get uh, put another broken one here. Oh, I don't have any stairs. I should have grabbed stairs. Some gravel and andesite in here too. And regular stone. Oh, I didn't even grab any andesite out of the thing. It's okay. We'll leave some we'll leave some spots open for it. Nope, didn't want that one. Oh, of course. Not putting in the slabs yet, so we can we can make room for the pickaxe, so. There we go, and it looks like it was a little damper there, maybe. So we're here. We're gonna crack brick there, here, maybe there. Nope, not what I wanted, but thank you. 
Why did I bring it up? Oh, oh, okay. Now that'll, that'll still be fine, actually. Really got to go get some andesite, though. Andesite looks really good in these paths. I wonder if maybe I should have got basalt, too. Uh, I don't know. I'll leave it up for now. If I, I can always fix it later if I really want. And let's put a couple of these just on the side there. Get some more cobblestone in here. As I notice, I missed whole sections with it. And it should have a, not an equal representation, but like a, should at least have some representation everywhere. Put that there. Now what else we got? Oh yeah, andesite. Which I never went and got. It should be right here. I do have some stairs. Those will help a little with the depth too. Yeah, this will work good. I just want it to look kind of random, you know? Like it's been weathered over time instead of like made this way on purpose. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be right. What the fuck do you guys want? I'm making a damn path here. Alright. Okay, I gotta get this guy killed by his buddy. There we go. Then I don't have to deal with the... Whatever the debuff is. I forget what it's called. Oh, I also didn't realize I was that close to dying there. Oh well, it'll be fine. I think that this whole path's one over. Now it should be fine. I'll fix it. Shouldn't be too hard to fix. Oh, what else we got here? Let's get some. Just got. I got an arrow. Oh, it's just the feathers right in my eye. Never mind. There we go. I need this for a minute. There we go. I'm wondering if slabs wasn't the better way to go with all this stuff, like down here and then every step down. Yeah, because I mean, that I want to make it so, like, because they might have a cart that they bring down. Because we're going to do a shed over here with some big wine casks in it. And they would need a way to get it down. Yeah, I should have. And I still can. It's not a big deal. I'll just take stuff like this out, replace it with grass. That's what it'll do while I fix this path. Because there's some spots this path is pretty screwed up. Yeah, so here it turns a little bit. That's fine. Comes around here, and he, these should be half slabs here. And then these ones, too. And there should also be... This shouldn't be four... Well, I guess it could be four wide, because it, it can look a little... It, can, it doesn't have to look exactly the same all over, but maybe we take these out and just put in grass so we can put in some... Yeah, I really, I kind of screwed this up. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's an easy fix. At least it's not something crazy. And so, yeah, these ones again should be... Yeah. I'll actually put these back in. Same with these three. <laughs> Maybe those? Actually, I want to get some more slabs before I do anything else. Just in case I, you know, so I have them in hand if I want to build above the thing. Alright, so let's go make some out of brick. Oh, I don't have room. There we go. 
I didn't need that. Uh, that's not what I needed either. I got some slabs there. Pretty much only mossy ones. Okay, so let's make a few more of these. And then some of these. Alright. Get rid of that one random lantern that I had for some reason. Okay, and then let's put those there. One there. One in the middle. Go. Well, it looks like this area has been wet a little bit too, which is fine. And we just want these. I think maybe like this, and then it comes down. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, I don't need that one. Get some more. I'm not uh, not that good at making paths really, but I think I think I can do okay as long as I keep it random enough. It should look fine. Uh, I think we I think I wanted one there. No, I think this should be. Actually, I wanted that there. There we go, and then we'll put some more slabs in. A couple of those, and a regular one. This here. Now, see, now it's starting to get tricky. The way I made this thing go, I think maybe it's not the best way to build that. So let's build the rest of this path up and then we'll work on the bottom half. There we go. Awesome. Whoops. Ooh, I think this should be a half slab too. I'm going to leave it. There we go. That pig scared me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um... Do we need a half slab here? I wonder if a half slab would look better there. No, it does not. But I think we should have something here. Maybe just like maybe taking this out would help too. Yeah, I think taking that out helps. In fact, I don't even know if we need this here. Oh yeah, we do because it's way too skinny. Otherwise, okay, no big deal. Should be fine. This over here, we'll put like a we'll put a row of vines or something. That it'll hide the side of this pretty easy. And then everywhere where we do the path, like we're doing over here, we'll just do a step down to the path, like a half a half slab down to the path. And yeah, so it's working good till like here, and then it gets a little weird. Um, I wonder if this isn't a case of just the half slabs will help it. You can find out. Oh, let me actually put in a grass block here, and then we'll. I think if we put one here too, it should. Yeah, that looks a little better. Okay. And then, uh, kind of do the same thing here, eh? This here, 
take these out. I might have got a little overzealous with the old uh, terraforming here. <laughs> I might have to remake it so that there's a path. Uh, I think that is exactly what I'm going to have to do. Which is fine. I mean, it, it doesn't take long. It's just it's annoying because I should have just done it the first time. Um, and we'll do this. We'll do two of those, I guess. And then, uh... Maybe with... Put this here. Yeah. Okay, that's looking better. We're still not there yet, but soon. So let's get some of this. Yeah, I think that'll work better. If we put the full blocks right here. And I'll put a half block or slab there. Full blocks again. Let's uh Get a different block here. Put a cracked one in. And maybe a half slab. Where's our. Uh... Do we have any more cobbles? Oh, Jesus, they're right there. Oh, Nikki's on. Give her a friendly hello. And now let's move on with our path here. Um, yeah, maybe just, then these should just be, get some more, uh, cobblestone in here, maybe we got a bigger section of it there, another half slab, okay, uh, I'll take this out. And we'll just replace it with grass, and then we'll... I mean, not that the grass is going to stay, but... It's just a cheaper block than a lot of the other stuff I'm using, so... There we go. So we almost got a whole path here. Should... Oh, oh. Okay, so let's do that. Same with there, I guess. Wait. Did I pick up dirt? Yeah, I thought I picked up dirt. It's the only way that made sense. Yeah, so now we come up here. I'm just trying to find if there's anywhere where we can't get up the path here. I think it's good now. I'm not seeing anything. In the ordinary, we'll go have a little nap here and then get right back to it and then we get to have the exciting part of putting in all the vines which aren't actually vines I mean we're just doing them like this I think this will look good enough I think it'll be be nice you know we'll have uh well you can't really tell for some reason this anyway this is this will be like the branches and these will these ones will be the trellis Should look good. Alright, so now let's take out this one. We'll put down three random ones. Or did we want four? Now three's fine. And then we'll take this stuff out. Oh, where's my shovel? Too, and I guess we'll start building back. Uh, let's get more random here. Obviously, can't put gravel on this one, but we can get rid of this cracked one. Uh, some put this cracked one here. 
Get an andesite here. Okay, and there. There we go. Oh, we haven't used much actual stone. I don't know why I took the... There we go. Now we'll do another drop down here. Let's go with cobble. And as soon as we're out of this section, it'll be easy. Because we can just... And I won't even do that. I'm not, I'm not going to bring it all the way over there today. Because I want it to hook up with over here. Uh, like, I'll probably dig this out and stuff. But I want it to come down around here to this area where eventually the dock is going to come around. Actually, no, this area here is going to get dug out. But this will this will come down like right right by the thing and hook up over here. So it should look good. I'm hoping. But, I mean, so far it's looking fine. So I think, anyway, I guess I should. Let's go take a look, actually. See how good it's actually looking. Now, I was going to go over to the Oracle of Delphi and check it out, but we can just look from here. Oh, yeah, that looks good. It's coming around down the thing. Yeah, so that's going to look good, and then it'll hook up over here. All right. No problem. I got a dog making weird sounds behind me. I hope you can hear it. I don't think it can. It's pretty quiet. Zoe's grumbling for some reason. See what it looks like from up here. Yeah, not bad. Right, that section here is a little weird. Mm, maybe we just scale it back a little. <laughs> I just keep hearing Zoe snoring, and it's so funny. Oh man, what a dog! A great little dog. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it does kind of get janky, like just that w coming off of what, just one. What if we hold on? This might look better if we just move it over one. Let's get this, and then I just gotta get some grass in here. Does that look any better? I wonder. Maybe a little. It's kind of hard to tell. Like you almost want to move this one over too. But then once you move this one over, you want to move this one over. And... I think what we need to do is put in so maybe it does need this extra one over here and it just it looks a little weird but it's not too bad or maybe we take this one out I don't know <laughs> it looks weird either way to me so, you know, I'm just going to pop that back in there and we'll pretend it never happened. The rest of it's looking good. There's just a few little parts that are looking iffy. But, I think we should be fine. So, let's come down here. This part's going to be annoying because we're going to have to drop down every second one. Actually, I guess not. I guess we can just... and then a half slab. 
The only thing that's really annoying about it is changing the uh, slabs out every time. You know what? Let's, let's make it real mossy here. Why not? Perfect. Get out of there. Put this here, put one here, and I think we'll put an andesite in between those two because they look very similar. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of just regular slabs. Regular brick slabs. I don't know why I moved my gravel down there when I wanted my rocket, but. After a few tries. All right, so now let's get. I forgot you can make andesite slabs too. I knew you can make stone slabs, but I didn't want to put too much stone in there. Uh, yeah. Oops. down here we're almost done with the path then we can get on to the stuff that'll make it look really like a vineyard which of course is the vines but you already knew that you're smart uh, let me pop down one of our andesite slabs I don't use too many of them because we didn't use them anywhere else so let's put one here and then we'll we'll go from there yeah this isn't too bad I do wonder if we shouldn't move it over a couple as we come down but I think it'll be it'll be better to move it across when we're down there and that won't be tonight that'll be It'll be some other time, but where are these? That section wasn't even too beat up. Oh, nice. I think we are actually almost where we need to be. Probably do two more little sections down here and then we'll be good. Let's get some cobblestone in here. Get some andesite. Um, put some gravel back in finally. Stone, I guess. And we'll do a random assortment here with an andesite because we still have five left. Why not? Yeah, that's as far as I'm doing for now. We got our path. Now we can get working on the uh, vines, which is nice. Because that's what will make this whole place look great, I think. I mean, it better. <laughs> Otherwise, I've wasted a lot of time over here. I think it was like four or five hours to do the hill. And then probably about the same to do the house. Because I built it and it looked so ugly. And I had to change it all. This made a big difference on it. But. So let's put all this stuff back.
Oh, that's full. Might as well grab those. All right. So now, let's put... I had these as just too high. I think I'm going to make these three high. It's just for the trusses, just so that they stick up over top of everything. So that you can tell where... Oops. Where the trellis ends and where the... Uh, of course. I don't need that, actually. Or you can tell the difference between the trellis and the, the little branch things. And then let's... I think doing the path first will be easier. Because then we can just pop this here. One of these in there. And you know, we can even do one up every now and then. You know, well, I don't want to do it right beside the thing. Well, you know, we can put it on top of this gate or something. Speaking of gates, put one there. We don't need them that often. We just need them, you know, so it looks like there's some sort of structure to it. Uh, actually, I think we do need one on the ends here, though. But not that way. Want it more like that. And then we can open it. Because then it looks like it's holding it up, but it... I mean, we do have this one weird floaty one, but at least it looks... Like there's some sort of structure to it. I think that'll look good. We go. Oh, we gotta move these already. So I'll put these up here. This just has a bunch. Those just have a bunch of leaves and uh, wooden stuff in them that we'll need. Mostly leaves though, because that's mostly what we're gonna need. Okay, so let's get a bite to eat here. And then, let's get back to it here. Put this down here, this down there. All right. So now let's do the same thing right here. No, why do I keep doing that? There we go. Can't jump up on that. It's oh. Hmm. Well, that'll be interesting. Maybe you don't walk all the way through these things. Three. Doesn't doesn't really matter though. Let's pop this on here. Open it up. And we'll yeah, because you can't get through here. Um. Ooh, you know what? I'm taking this one out. I, I, I do want to be able to walk through these places, so. Um, that looks a little bare. So let's take this out and move it back one. And then we'll put another one right here. Just so, yeah, that'll work. And we can still walk through. Everybody's fine. Put in a thing there. I wonder too. Ah, I'm kind of thinking. I wonder if I should hide some sweet gem berries. Not sweet gem berries. That's from Stardew Valley. Some berries in there, but I don't, I don't know if I need them. Yeah, I'm not sure if I need them. This thing looks. This did I put in the wrong one? No, I didn't. Underneath the leaves, it looks just like a freaking, almost just like a spruce one. Should have almost went dark oak, but I don't have any. I do have, well, let's go see what birch looks like, maybe. So I have a bunch of birch in this box. Because I use them when I make the cypress trees. Let's take this out and see what this looks like. You know what? It sticks out way more, so I think we're going to go with birch. 
I don't think it really matters which one we use, but just to me, that looks better. There's one more in here. It's good too, because I got way more birch wood than I got oak left, so. Pop that in there. Okay. Get back to it here. Put in a fence gate here. Build around it. Can't get through there. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was actually going to put in a grass block here. I didn't bring them with me. Oh, but it still needs a... <sighs> uh, you know what? Let's do it right here, just on top of this one. We'll put another... I thought this was going to be the easy part. That's not where I wanted that. Let's put it up there like that, and then we'll... Oh, no, I don't want it there. I want it. Do another. Oh, that pole's there. I, that pole, I think, was over too far. So we'll put this one here. Yeah, and then we can put the vine out the front of it like this. And then over here. Now, you know what? Let's put another. Oh, that's why I keep falling because we're getting to the freaking edge over here. You pigs, stay away from my grapes. Damn pigs. It's my grapes. No, every time I put that in wrong. I was like pulling teeth. Pop that in there. Do one of those. Can we still walk through here? Yes, we can. <laughs> I like it. It's a little claustrophobic. There's not a lot of room, which is good. That's kind of what we want. I'm wondering if I shouldn't put more. No, not there. More on top? Nah. I don't want them to be three high very, very often. Because I want to be able to see out from when you're walking through. I want to be able to look over at the things I've, the other things I've built. So I think doing it that way wouldn't be very good. Um, there and then I think when we we'll go later we'll get our slabs again and we'll put them in here so that there's a way to step down from the from the thing but yeah I think this will look good I'm gonna take a fly away here quick and see oh that actually looks <laughs> I just those sparse fences really make a huge difference. So instead of it looking just like a wall of leaves, that really, really helped. Okay. 
Good. Uh, you know what? While I'm over here, do I have any more fence gates hidden anywhere? I do have a whole other stack in my inventory, so... Yeah, I, I got wood left, too. Of course, there are monsters nearby. Let's go back home. Screw them. Wait, what the hell are in these shulker boxes? Hold up. Oh, oh, shit, I could use these. Could use those, probably, too. And... Oh, yeah, because I just have my pumpkin farm over here. Now, I, I currently don't have one. Uh, that monster should be gone by now. We'll head on back. Path looks good, too. Okay, this is gonna... This is gonna turn out good. I never know when I come in with a half a plan if anything's gonna look good or not, but... Yeah, you never know. I think I hit caps lock. Oh yeah, I never did show you guys in here. I really like this. It's just a little, you know, like nice little garden. Yeah, you come in here. You know, I got the blue concrete floor, these little lounging chairs. You know, I haven't, you know, I haven't put everything in here yet, but I like, I like this with the barrels underneath the, uh, there's nothing in them, but, you know, underneath the stairs, and then up here we come out on a little balcony. Punch these out. Because I forgot to put string in them. How's it? How's the vineyard? Oh, the vineyard even looks good from up here. All right, I am really happy with this so far, and I'm going to keep going. So that mean? Do I need? Yeah, I guess I'll put it here. I was wondering if maybe I shouldn't put it down on the ground there, but this guy right here. And we can put, oh, I didn't put one of these in. Well, it didn't seem to matter this time. I guess we don't always need one. But we could still use it. Hold on. Put it here. Open it. Pop that there. Looks okay. And we'll put another one right here. Hold it in place. Yeah. I like this. Okay. Here, should we put two in a row? Uh, I don't think so because I just put one there. So, and actually, this could probably be where we put that post. But actually, then we could do this. Oh, actually, yeah. Let's let's make this one different. We'll put like a, yeah, there we go. And we'll pop in some life over here. And we're going to keep, we're just going to keep, keep it coming down here. So we'll put in uh, one of these. Uh, it's a little weird. It's touching there, but I think it'll be fine if we just do it this way. And then get some more of these in. That one looks different. This is with this extra thing here, you know, maybe this one had a little disease or something they had to cut a section out. You never know. Here it's pretty hard to grow grapes. I've never never actually tried it. Uh, maybe this year actually. I've been looking at getting some. It's hard. We live in like zone three, so it's not the best grape country. <laughs> but you can get some good kinds. Uh, they have this like green grape you can grow here that I want to get. It's like Frontenac Grease or something. I think it's just, I think it's French. <laughs> it's, I mean, Frontenac's French, I know that. I don't know what it means, but I know it's French. Take this, do it right to the edge. If you're not growing dangerously, you ain't growing at all. In fact, you know what, let's trail this one down. There, perfect. 
Uh, let's actually put one more there. I shouldn't be wasting the leaves like that, just in case. I don't exactly know how many we have. Actually, yeah, this will work. No, not there. Oh, fuck. I gotta... Yes, take them both out. That's that's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. We gotta do this again. Now we can pop some leaves in here. I'm stack that one. Put a thing here. I'm actually gonna move this over because I don't want them to be all in the same place. Because I don't think that might be how they do it more these days, but I don't think back in ancient Greece they were looking for something that also looked good. I think they just wanted it to produce. And that's how a lot of people would be today still too, but uh, let's do one of these and then I'll get one of these bad boys in here. Oh yeah, I always forget this. How bad would it look if? I'm guessing pretty bad. I just let's see. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Cause it's just floating and looks stupid. I guess it could just be two different plants. Um, you know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Okay, yeah, let's leave that. I like that actually. Pop this over here. Put in one of those. Let's put this here. And let this one come up. I'm going to... I kind of want to leave this one. Oh, because it's down the thing. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave that one. They don't all need to have the exact same thing on them. So, Well, that one almost should have something right here. Just so that it looks like that's holding something up, you know? Yeah, I'm really digging this. I think it looks good. Take a fly out again just to make sure. So I've never built a vineyard like this before, so. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. Damn. Okay. So I think when we do this side, too, we'll do it. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to do it down this way. Like in strips down like this. Because I know some places do that. And I, I have no idea why. It, it must be something to do with the sun exposure or something. But. I was kind of wanting to do that. But that's like. That's a maybe. Oh this one was really straight. I don't want to do that with every one of them. Okay so let's pop this up. Let's, we got one there actually. Let's put it here. Uh, I was like, look at that one back there. Yeah, we can do it like that. I don't mind. Put this one too high up here. Ooh, I wonder if I shouldn't. No, that'll be fine. Uh, and then we'll put this 
maybe here. God damn it, I'm gonna do that all night, aren't I? Good thing I keep having uh, grass blocks on me. There, and we'll put one of those there. Pretend that it hooks up over here. this on it yeah we'll just pop these right in there just like that yeah excellent oh it looks good from here too it looks like it actually has some structure just these these little fence gates they just make all the difference and actually, yeah, the poles do too a bit. So, I'm good. I'm happy with it. This is going to be a log project. I think it'll take longer for this than anything we've done so far. It's the only... Let's see, did I do... I guess the docks, technically, because I made these... I didn't make these in a video, I just made those, because I knew they were so, so simple, nobody would want to watch them be made. Because they're just, you know, like beams and a roof but i made the docks in one video and then i made the ship in another and i made this kind of in a stream i really screwed up in a stream but i think other than the docks this is the uh it's the biggest project we had because this was a video this is a stream and the the building the hill was also a video so the, uh, the Parthenon will probably be a few videos, though. It's going up on top over there. I have to build out the hill, like, way back to here. Maybe even further. It's going to be nasty, but it'll be worth it in the end. I hope. Hey, how are you doing, Lord? I'm glad you could show up. I was getting lonely talking to myself. Let me see. <laughs> no. I, oh, I don't think I have the heart to nuke it. Ooh, do I want to come all the way down? No, no. These ones are definitely going to go a different direction. I just, I think the cutoff will be right here. And then I'll turn the other ones. So let's do that and then we'll pop up here yeah this will work yeah this this one's too straight this one's a freaking straight as an arrow too until you get here I guess yeah this this one's way too straight that's okay though we're almost done this big part. This There was this whole weird island here that's all straight, so it looks a little weird. The rest is stepped down like it should be, but uh, I guess we'll start on this end. How's your night going tonight, Lord? That every time. All right, let's <laughs> pop this there. I did that on that one. That's okay. It'll be fine. Nobody has to know. It'll be our little secret. You don't tell anybody, Lord. Hear me? Come over here. Pop this out. Perfect. Eh, not entirely perfect since that's over the path, but what do I care? I'll put a little. How the hell did I do that? I made it on the wrong side of the path. <laughs> Jeez. 
Jesus. Okay, well. Let me just pop this back out. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave this. But what I'm going to do... Is that. Uh, we'll pretend these don't connect. No one needs to know. Uh, now, let's pop... This one... Right here. God damn it, these fence gates piss me off. I always think I got them in the right spot and I never do. There we go, and I'm gonna pop this up here. Like one of these. I'll draw it like one of my French girls. <laughs> I don't know why I have that Titanic quote stuck in my head. But you know, I think I'm gonna put this one right here this time. And then we'll pop a one uh those. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. It was a mistake, but I don't care. This one in here. One of those, one of these. Put this guy right there. Uh, gotta have one over at least. Doesn't look from down here when you're coming up the path. I haven't even checked yet. Made this whole path, I haven't even... Oh yeah, that's looking good. Oh lord, you should have seen this house before. Before I finished it. Holy crap, was it bad. Probably the worst thing I've ever built. But, I stuck with it and I fixed it. And I think it's, I think it's good now. Mostly it's the vines. They can fix anything. I like the look of it coming up here. Coming down, it looks like it could be worked. These, you really got to stop doing such straight lines. Like, this is perfect. You know, a little, a little jagged action. That's great. But the, these ones got going a little too straight for my liking. Uh, let's put something here. Yeah, this next one will be fine, because I'll go around this. But let's go get my path made. Oh, here's the thing, too. How far do I want to continue going straight down like this? Hmm. <laughs> it, just, it just looks more... Because this is supposed to be ancient Greece, right? So, I they could have planted in perfect straight lines. It's just that I don't think they would have cared enough to. Like, I think they would just want to be like, oh, we got to put in our plants. Let's get them in. If the vines go a little crazy, we'll fix it after sort of thing. Like, growing stuff in straight lines is more of a modern... Um, it's more of a modern idea for agriculture. So, I, th I, th I just think that... If it's more jagged, like we can have a few straight lines, no problem, but I just think that it fits the motif a little better if it isn't. Yeah, Romans really like their fucking straight lines. I'm going to start this one here, I think. Oh, I never did do the path, though. Do it this way, like this. Then it won't be a straight line. I'll make sure I put some leaves here. <laughs> Same with here. And we'll make it come around this. There we go. I know we got two little paths going the same way there. So, ooh, this 
is going to be a little tougher to actually make work though. I think this should be here. If I move it there, would it work? Yeah, if I move this over, it'll work. They did these straight lines, did they? Oxen Clone actually worked them. Huh. Well, they wouldn't be using an oxen plow for grapes. Because that's, well, I guess initially to break the soil. But, huh. Maybe it's just personal preference then. I just think this looks better when you look down here, right? Than seeing all the way through the line. You know what I mean? This is because it just breaks it up. And I. According to B-Dubs, who is probably the best Minecraft builder I've ever seen, he uh, he talks about breaking up sight lines a lot. So maybe that's where it's coming from. And I was just, you know, making something up to make my own self feel good. <laughs> but yeah, I was, like I just, I do kind of like how you can see my house back there. Kind of. You know, it's just the outline of it. <laughs> but I just, I, I'd rather, I'd rather not see it through it. Maybe I just wasn't giving the Greeks enough credit, too. That could be it. Get, what the hell do you want? Get out of here, bacon. <laughs> I better go sleep. I don't know what Nikki's doing. Oh, she's AFK. So she won't be sleeping. Oh, no, I, I don't mind if you're, if you're judging. That's what I did on stream. You know, if I needed some input, it would help me out. That's actually, uh, he, on Saturday when I was making the house, it turned out, like, real bad first. And then I got, I fixed it all up, and I, I couldn't see, like, what it looks like now. I couldn't see that. I could just see that ugly house still. So I called over one of the other players, and he came and looked at it. He's like, no, it looks, it looks good. He's like, you need to do some landscaping around for, like, trees and stuff, which I haven't done yet. But he's like, other than that, like, it looks... It looks good. And I was like, okay. Because he, he hadn't seen the ugly house before, so he wasn't prejudging it. You know, I wonder, if I put this here, that's not even close to what I wanted. If I put this here, I think I can just walk through it, so it won't even... Let's come right up here. Yeah, that doesn't even get in the way. Uh, oh, it's... Statues are hard to build, kind of is is why i will show you actually some plans i got though with some statues so over here is where we we're going to come in like i've got a i'm going to make this whole thing a real good river i'm going to do two big either one really big or two pretty big poseidon statues like one on each side of the river and then i have little statues i'm going to put one i'm going to put a bigger statue in here but like i got this little oh we're dead crap whatever let's run back up but i got this little apollo statue up here because it's uh you know there he is in his golden glory and i'm gonna do, I'll do something in there and then i just i just have small statues right now just because the armor stands reason I got, like these two guys here uh i got one i got one in here which is the train station, which I still haven't uh, done anything with. I just got this little guy here. <laughs> He's holding up his book. <laughs> I don't know why. And then I got another just little one in here. He's just, I don't know, glorious. But yeah, the Parthenon's going up there. It's going to have a big statue of Athena in it. But I'm just, I'm not good at making them. I think, too, these spots right here. I planned these out to have statues in them. I just haven't built the statues yet. I just got to find some good tutorials is all. I also got to do the interior decorating on pretty much everything. Well, Apollo had a bow too. 
he was uh, he was also an archer, which I didn't know until I looked it up to make the statue, because the uh, that's the Oracle of Delphi or Delphi. I'm not sure they say it. So they, it was like a, a temple to Apollo, and that's so I looked it up, and then yeah, he used a bow too, which I didn't know. So I made his little golden statue have a have a bow. This it's actually kind of been nice uh, doing this. I learned a lot of extra Greek stuff that I didn't. It's just stuff I never really looked into before. Like, now we both know that they grew in straight lines no problem. Oh, he probably, he might have been a shitty archer. Compared to Artemis, everyone's a shitty archer, though, aren't they? <laughs> oh, good, I do have more leaves. I got way more up top, I just didn't want to go get them. Yeah, I'm going to leave this grass. Oh, maybe that's what I should do. Hold on. Let me get some bone meal. I got a whole bunch at the house. Or at the old starter cave. Oh yeah, I'm going to build an amphitheater right here too. That's where it's going to go. I'm going to have to take out Chris's little prank. He put on a Spongebob skin once and stalked me around and I've fallen out here to this stupid little pool. I don't know what the deal with that was, but it was funny. It was like 2 in the morning when he did it. And same with this. He put this in my doorway. I opened it up and it ended up over here because like, like as soon as I opened my doorway, I saw this face and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And I just <laughs> hit it with my sword and it ended up over there. So I kept it. Uh, what did I come in here for? Bone meal. I thought I saw something on the floor. Yeah, let's take the whole stack. I don't got a lot left. I got to go over to the iron farm and get the uh, get the poppies out of there. I'm digging it. I think it looks good. I wasn't sure. I've never done a vineyard before, so I wasn't sure how this would turn out. So I just kind of started winging it, and it, it worked out. So let's we'll keep down here clean. But anywhere, like in here. Yeah. I should add a little more. Uh, I don't want to say depth, but I'm pretty sure that's the wrong word. I'll add a little more, a little more color because it's a little different color green. I maybe don't want this one though. This is too tall. Also, this one looks funny. Okay. Pop this in here. No, I don't want the two tall ones. Stop giving me two tall flowers. Or, oh, you jackasses. Yeah, well, flower works. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, everything else in here good, except for there. Guys need to weed some more. Uh, you know what? I'll just keep that there. There. I don't think that changes much. Although I bet you he's just having the red flowers in there. Yeah, that actually brings a lot to it. Same with that yellow one. Um, I don't want this too tall grass. That'll work. I'll just leave those two bare. Yeah, I like that. I like that with the grass in there. Now let's uh, put up a little... Oh, hold on. I'm going to stagger this a little more. This one here. That one there. there mm. yeah I don't mind if they touch there we go pop 
this here. And I think we'll just finish to the end. It's just, uh, it's just building. That's, that's all it is. I mean, I play, then again, I, I shouldn't, uh, I play Valheim like I play Minecraft, so maybe, I don't, I don't get the point of some games either. <laughs> I just always like building. Like, I'm kind of a creative type, right? So I always... Like, I play... Me and my buddies used to fucking, like, secretly... We didn't tell any of the chicks or anything, but... Uh, <laughs> we played Lego in, like, fucking grade 10. We didn't care. It wasn't like... Uh, it wasn't like, oh, this is the greatest. I was like, hey, let's fucking do something. And, you know, we're bored of video games today. Let's do something different. And, like, someone's like, hey... What about Lego? I'm like, pff, I still got all my Lego, and we fucking hooked it all together, and had a great time. And then we had so much fun, we just kept doing it. But like I said, we didn't really tell anybody. <laughs> oh, I know. There's nothing worse than stepping on Legos. Uh, there we go. No, you know what? I'm going to leave that one. Well, I'll just leave it there. It doesn't matter. Come down here to the end. I think I'm going to do this one this way, though. There we go. Go sleep again. I just wish the days were a little longer in Minecraft. <laughs> they always seem like you never get anything done. <laughs> but yeah, I used to always be drawing and stuff like that. I, I've kind of got out of drawing. I don't know why. I just... I never take the time to just sit down and draw anymore, which I should because, frankly, I'm getting kind of bad at it compared to what I used to be but uh, like I, I was always I always kind of got to have something creative going on like I make uh, d and d terrain and stuff like that too just like I don't even run games I just like making it so I just make it and give it to Don first and he puts it in our games and hey more fun I guess Actually, I give some to uh, Vixlade too. He DMs for us sometimes. That's uh, that's where I was earlier tonight, actually. Uh, right here, I guess. Oh, this has got to be the end. Didn't even realize I was there already. Uh, I'm going to just put a fence. Ca oh, oh shit! I'm out of gates. That's nowhere near what I needed. Oh, I don't have any spruce. That's why. I saw the, <laughs> I don't know what I thought it was. I saw the uh, mast of the, or the sail of the, um, of the ship, and I thought it was like a monster coming. I, I'm just not used to seeing it, because, like, the draw distance, 
Uh, we fixed some stuff. Scotty fixed some stuff on uh, the server. And I think the draw distance is actually letting me see a lot more. And I haven't changed mine, but there's no way I could see my house from here before. And, like, I can see pretty much everything I've built, which is great, because that's kind of what I wanted, right? Like, I didn't build it not to look at it. <laughs> Might bring some more leaves, too. Yeah, that'll do. See, now I'm wondering if I shouldn't... I shouldn't start running them just across, like... I guess maybe not yet. Maybe this one? Maybe this one just runs into this line. And then this one, too. And then the rest just keep following the lines. Yeah, I think that might be better. I could even maybe turn them around to come here. Go take a look here. See what see what it's looking like. I got my looking tree over here. So I haven't chopped down this tall tree. I can get up here and I can look at the harbor. And I can <laughs> look it up there. Yeah, I mean that looks like a that looks like a bunch of vines. Some grapes. Yeah. I can dig it. Oh, I thought I could see the statues from here, but they don't load in that close. They're like, uh, they're treated like mobs, basically, so you can only see them so far away. I think that's how it works. I think it's like mobs. Except for this horse. He's been here forever. I just let him live there. I don't care. You do you, horse. Okay, I'm going to come back this way and... Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to put this one one in. Nikki's gone. I don't know if she was AFK. -ing. I don't know what's at her base. I don't even know where her base is. She hasn't played too much this season. I should have put, you know, maybe right here, instead of this, I'll put two. I mean, you can see through it, but when we put another thing in front of it, it won't matter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got, uh, I got the good stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I lost my elytra for like the fifth time. Like right before Christmas, so spooky, drop by and just, just dive bomb me with a lighter. Like it was pretty funny. And then, yeah, I don't know why I never named that, but I got the, uh, you know, you know this for YouTube, <laughs> and uh, this one I like this one because I just one hit anything I'm dead with it just dies, and then yeah I didn't finish enchanting my bow, but you don't really need to. And then that one. I try to give them all Greek names. I don't remember. That was almost a year. Oh, maybe not a year, but like it was a long time ago. So I don't remember what all of them are. I think Talaria were like the. Uh, I think those are um, Hermes's sandals. Harpe was someone's sword, but I can't remember who. 
Uh, Hephaestus Labyrinth is just Hephaestus is oh for crying out loud. It's just Hephaestus um his just his axe. Which knowing Hephaestus probably wasn't as good as most other people's stuff, but you know. He's still a baller. These fences are gonna be the death of me. There. <laughs> if I could just remember which way they actually went. This wouldn't even be a problem. Right, let's get some bone meal here. Get some grass growing. I'll I'll let two grow there. Where else? Uh nowhere on that rope. Throw had some though. Alright. Oh, we've got a little canopy we can hide under if it rains. Nope. Nope. Will you please stop? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I just want grass. I don't want all this extra shit. You know, I'll leave both of those actually. So now, is this the one that we're going to wrap around? Yeah, maybe we do just a little short one here. Or maybe we just leave this one here. We just leave this alone completely, except for... Yeah, sure. And then we'll build this one. Yeah, it'll just be a little short one, but we'll, we'll build a little one in here. Um, yeah, so we do the, the path on the outside here. This isn't really a walkable path, but that's okay. Don't want to forget our little tree there. I know it's not a tree, but... Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I needed a, needed a fence gate here, or fence post. Now I need to make more fence posts. A lot of sticks too. Um, would I have more at the house? I wonder. Pull up! Pull up! Ah. We're not going to make it. Ow. Pop up here. I don't know if I actually do have any. I don't have any more sticks, but... I do have a fair amount of logs. I hate to do it, but I have to do it. No. Not out of my spruce. Oh, that's why, because I didn't make these. There. Make all the damn fences I want now. You know, or ten. But I still got a ton of logs so, or sticks so I can make them next time. I'll sleep in my own bed for a change. Oh, that looks good from this side, too. Good. I'm so glad. I was worried about this. Because, like I said, I'd never made one of these before. And after the other day, when I made that house and it was so ugly at the start, I thought maybe I'd lost my touch a little bit. <laughs> but, no. We're so good. Uh, yeah, I don't like that, after all. Okay. I put this here. I put this here. Yeah, we can go out and all the way around this one. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's just put one, oops, one on there, two down here. Oh, 
Oh, but we don't have a path here. Oh, maybe the path changes now. Maybe the path goes on the inside. Actually, we need to... I think I screwed this up when I was making my... Hmm. I guess I could start out here for the next one and go around. We'll see. Alright, so let's do... No, not over the path. Oh, we can't put this one here anyway. This actually has to be path too. There's nothing under those. All right, that should do. I guess we don't have to go over this way, so we can just do. Build this up here. It's getting more tricky now. I'm actually going to just put, for Christ's sake, how did I snipe that? I couldn't shoot like that if it was an FPS. There we go. <laughs> now, let's get. You know what? I'm sick of this one fucking path block always, always being in the. It just keeps getting in the way and getting hit with stuff. Uh, let's put another one of these. Say there. here we're gonna need another yeah I don't know if that one turned out so well but I don't think it matters too much no you can as long as it's there it looks good okay good So this one, nothing's going to go here. Unless, yeah, I could start it here and then come across. And then turn it, <laughs> just like this one. Uh, you know what, though? I'm just going to fill that in with this dirt. I'm going to do that on all of them. these off I 
Makes it look better too. It looks kind of ugly going down there. I just realized. Whoa. Uh -oh. Luckily, I got rockets on me. It looks a little better already. Once it has the, once it has the stuff on it, though, you won't even notice. It's kind of shitty looking, but this will help it. that one it can live there forever now or for the next five minutes until it despawns whichever comes first all right so that should make that easier now i really thought i was going to get more of this done i didn't realize it was going to take so long placing this shit in this might be uh well, then again, I should have known because I did this farm over here. And all I did was planted wheat around it. And it took six hours. But to be fair, I mean, it's a lot of wheat. I figured if I, I thought this year if I was going to do anything, I was going to go big. So I decided I'm doing a whole Greek city. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, may have been a mistake. I have no idea if I'll get it done by the end of the actual season. But I think if I don't get it done, I'll just keep poking around at it after the, the season's over. Get it done that way. Because I want to build another boat over here coming down the river whenever we get the river done, too. And then just more houses. And then the amphitheater and the uh, um, Parthenon with the, uh, oh, what's it called? It starts with an A. The Acropolis on top of it. No, the Parthenon is on top of the Acropolis, essentially. But, yeah, you get what I mean. All right, so if we put this here today. That one right there. Put the... No, every time it's wrong. There we go. So I get out my... that and I'll put this down. I'm also going to put this somewhere where I can plan for where it's going to go. And I guess this one will just come right here. Now I can just fill in in between them. Oh, and I got to do this too. There we go. Oh, I gotta be careful here too, because we already can't walk through here. I should just. I wonder if I shouldn't just put down dirt. Can't walk through there either. Hmm. I mean, I could put it out here. That's pretty much the same spot. I could walk through at least. Yeah. I don't know. Let's do. Oh no! <laughs> this is what getting lazy gets you. <laughs> you can see right down there. Okay, I'll have to fix that.
Okay. Let's uh let's fix this. But how? Oh, actually, not too too bad. What's on here? Just that, so it should be fine. Now. He's back. Oh, it's gonna do it there too, I bet. No, he didn't. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm really digging this. But I think I'm almost done. Stuff like this I can only do for so long. And I was tired before I started. <laughs> right? I got my own little Hades down here. That, uh... It uh, was. You weren't supposed to see that. That's a secret. <laughs> Actually, I do kind of. I'll show you. What, I haven't. I don't think you've seen it since. I think last time I streamed and you were in here, I hadn't built any of this yet. I kind of have my own little underworld. I'll show you. My basement is a dark mess. It's also uh, pretty fancy. These are uh, full gold blocks. Ten of them in each wall section. <laughs> and uh, this stuff's pretty expensive too. I get it cheap though because I got Piglin Bartering Hall. And this is my iron farm. Uh, I don't know if I've been close enough. I don't think they slept. They don't seem to be scared of the zombies. So what happens is uh, the zombie bounces up and down. And... He makes eye contact with these guys. You can't really see it because it is so dark in here. Oh, no, there we go. An iron golem spawns, goes after the zombie. But because he thinks he can walk over these trap doors, he just falls to his death. <laughs> and then I got a second floor down here, which isn't done yet, but that's where I'm going to have more farms. Like, I have to finish the roof still. That's why all the scaffolding's here. But I got my sheep farm here. Because I sell wool now. So I've been collecting wool. And then, uh, my cow farm, which I just, just finished this. Yeah, I just redesigned it the other day. See, the cows are too fat. These trap doors here. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay. I can fix it. What am I? There we go. Anyway, the cows are too fat to fit between the trap door the glass and the the open area so they don't fall down through but the babies fall down through and then when they grow up I kill them with my sword and it cooks the beef automatically and then I'm going to do melon I'm going to do a cactus farm over here a bamboo farm over there which actually is going to be powered by these, these sheep farms on the wall I just have to kind of figure that out and I'm going to do a melon uh, actually, probably pumpkin, melon, and pumpkin farms in these three walls. And then uh, I think I'm going to build just a little chamber and have... I have a couple of spawners. So I think I'll just put them in here so I can just gather up pretty much everything I need if I just AFK here. So it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good little setup. But... Oh, there he goes again. I got so much friggin' iron, I don't even know what to do with it all now. I've never had that problem before. I thought iron farms were going to be hard to make. And it uh, turns out, no, not so much anymore. The things these guys come up with. Uh... Yeah, that place down there is. That's, uh, that's why I hid it away. I didn't want it to be... Uh, I didn't want it to be front and center. Like last season I made my whole base. It was like a dome on the water. Actually, you know what? I'm getting kind of sick of doing leaves. Let's go. Let's go see it. I'll show you my base from last season. It was really cool. Uh, let's see. Cancel this. Boo, 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 boo. It's this one. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. I'm real proud of this one. <laughs> I uh, I decided. You know, I'm, I'm Poseidon, so I'm gonna build 
in the water. This will just take a minute. Um, I'm going to build in the water. And I'll tell you right now, it was hell at the start of the season. Like, just, just terrible. I died so many friggin' times to the little drown bastards with the fucking tridents. God, I hate them. I think I clicked this. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. So, like, it's just, ugh, it was so bad. But, in the end, I think it was worth it. Because I made this really sweet freaking, uh, I think it's sweet anyway. The sweet, uh, base with, like, I mean, you'll see it. It's, like, domes everywhere, and the farms are, like, right, uh, you can see them as you go by. Oh, I should have, oh, I can't. Damn it, I never did. We had to get rid of the creative world because it was kind of screwing up the, uh, wow, this thing's really going. <laughs> It's a pretty big world, though, that's why. Um, so, we had to get rid of the creative world because it was taking up a lot of space, and it was screwing up something with DynMap, too. So, like, we actually we actually got warned by the server company that our server was getting too big because of it, so we, we had to get rid of it. But the guys made a... Uh, they made a... Um, they made, a, like, a ship right by my house. They look pretty cool. Uh, where the hell am I? There we go. Oh, I'm... The fuck am I standing? I'm standing on nothing. What is going on here? I'm trying to hit it. I'm trying to F5 it, but it's not working. Yeah, I was just standing on nothing out here. Huh. All right, well... Guess we're falling. We are not falling. Oh! I'm in, like, spectator mode or something. Which is actually a good way to show you everything. Yeah, here's my, uh, here's the top of my base. I'm not in spectator mode. I'm in creative mode. Can I not? I thought I was, uh... Yeah. <laughs> There's two swillas. <laughs> uh, I forgot I named all... Uh, maybe I didn't name all of them. I don't think I named... Yeah. I didn't name the llamas. The scamper. My little fox friend. Uh, I forgot the dog's name. Oh yeah, Biff Wellington. I don't think... The bees don't have names. This bee's actually stuck here. He was here the last time I logged in here too. Get out of there. Whatever. Uh, I think... Can I not... Huh. I thought I could set game mode. I mean, I guess I can fly, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so anyway, here's the top. Uh, where? I'm just trying to find the way down. It should be... Yeah, there it is. Here's Here's the inside you come here this actually gives you this is a conduit you didn't apparently I, I didn't know this until i made this base you don't actually have to put the, shit i am in creative mode you gotta be kidding me uh, that is incredibly annoying uh give me this it wasn't that what did i break yeah it was that fuck me that was annoying i hate creative mode why the hell would I ever be in creative mode? Luckily, this carpet design isn't uh, too tough to figure out. I'm just going to put it back so that I feel good about myself again. Let's see how it goes. Here it is. Yeah, I have no idea why I'm in creative mode. This is annoying. But it won't matter in a minute. Also, I, I'm wondering why I can't go out of creative mode and into survival mode. Anyway, yeah, so here's the... Uh, here's the map of the surrounding, surrounding area here. This is... Uh, they built another, like... In the creative world, uh, right about here, 
I, maybe it was a little further. They built another warship to keep me safe. <laughs> so, and then this was, uh, there's a little village over here that I never actually got around to. I just made this one little thing. This is my drown farm. We'll go see that in a minute. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on here. There's my Canadian flag, the best you can do, I think. Uh, everyone made their own little flags. Here's the Carbon Knights flag, too. Which, uh, the roof has the, you can't really see it, but the roof has the Carbon Knights shield on it. Oh, it's Thunderstorm route. Neat. Should go use Wave Rider. These friggin' trees took forever to make. Like, they don't look like them a lot, but I had to take them down like five or six times just to get them to look half as good. And these are my bamboo farms. They were they were here almost all season. Just rocking around giving me bamboo. Apparently this door is gone. So is this one. Weird, but whatever. Here's my little living room area. I got a... I got a little bedroom up here. With a little... You know, like a nice little bed, fireplace, and you know, my armor stands, cake everywhere. There's cake down in the uh, the basement too. There, not the basement, but the. And I got my enchanting room. You know, come here. This is in one of the towers you can see from up top. And then uh, we'll go down to the basement where I got the kitchen and the. Uh, uh, the safe, which uh, I had to get Spooky to design for me because I was too stupid to do it. Yeah, got a little fridge here, you know, a little stove, uh, an actual fridge that gives you food. I'm gonna hit this button. Nope. Did it? Oh yeah, it shot me out a steak. <laughs> and then I come down here where it is not lit up whatsoever why is this place not lit up let me just grab a torch and I can just hold it in my hand and it'll be fine there we go Take. This, in fact I'm gonna fucking actually I think I, I, I did it on purpose so that you can't see to get in so we take this and we put in our where did it go? Are you shitting me? Where the fuck did it go? Um, this is awkward. I don't have the key because I took it out of here and I don't know where it went. And it didn't drop into my inventory. Like it should have. You gotta be shitting me. Anyway, I guess we'll just bust through. This is all, uh, yeah, and then you, you put the that nugget in here, or in the other thing, and it comes out here, and you, the door opens automatically and shit. In fact, we can fix that. I still need a torch again. Anyway, that was annoying. But yeah, here's all the, here's all the stuff I left in case, uh, in case somebody wanted to come by and actually play on this world, I left all my riches in here. And everything like that. And we can see if the redstone still works. Spooky. You're amazing. I was pissed off that's gone, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so now I'm not going to bother putting that back. And then, I guess seeing as how I'm in creative mode, I can fly. Oh yeah, everything, uh, <laughs> this wasn't Coral Reef when I started either. This is, <laughs> I put all that in. I went and I nuked a whole Coral Reef in another part of the world just for that. Like you can see it, I can probably see it even better out here, yeah. And there's, there's my stable for my underwater horses. Uh, yeah, more Coral Reef over there. I got a villager trading hall down here. I can, I could get all the books I needed because I had a trident shop, so I could get all the books I needed to make tridents. I had just a whole shitload of tridents, <laughs> like all kinds of good stuff. Uh, I don't think there's, oh, there is some stuff. Oh, there's my 
Canada flag shield. What else we got here? Nothing much, really. I was out of most, uh... I think I put most of it away, actually. Here's my little storage system. My super smelters on both sides. I could just name one of those, not a key. Uh, yeah. And then, oh, this, uh... <laughs> this guy. I saw this guy on Reddit. He, uh... He had his little slime friend and he wrote up this whole story and like had a little video he had a little slime guy that was living in his house and it climbed up a ladder and jumped off and died because the little slimes only have one um they only have one hit point so uh i saw that and then immediately i it, the same thing happened with me like right away so i decided to put, i put a little memorial up for him why doesn't this guy have a job oh he does have a job never mind he's a smith he just, it just didn't look like it. And I got my, uh, the world's dumbest, like, uh, I don't even know what the hell these things are called. So there's a quick farm there. My sugar cane farm. This is my concrete maker when I wasn't, this is also, this is my, uh, vine farm. Uh, nether portal. Yeah. I got all kinds of stuff in here. What else we got? I think this is the pickle. Nope. I think this is the cactus farm over here. Yeah, it is, because the pickle farm doesn't go down. So we just get, uh, it makes bone meal. Unless I need cactus, then I just, well, then I just would come and stand in here. Uh, I wonder if I can, yeah. Pretty easy farm to make. The cactus grows and just breaks because it's uh, on these, like, uh, because, it, oh, there was one just happened right there. Uh, as soon as it grows, if there's anything beside it, it just breaks, so... That's what this is, and it goes all the way up to the, like, up, this is almost to the surface of the water, and then we'll come down. Oh, can't quite, there we go. But yeah, like, seriously, like, none of this coral was here before. <laughs> I, uh, oh yeah, downstairs I got some cool stuff, but I'll show you, I made this sea pickle farm, which I used once. Because who the hell needs this many sea pickles? But I'll show you how it works. And we're lucky I have the sound turned down. Oh, I got a... I, 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 I can get bone meal. I have uh Where the hell would that be? Miscellaneous? Yeah. Put in a couple of stacks. Three stacks should do it. Whoops. Yeah, so uh, this is a Razorworks design. If you know, I know you don't know much about Minecraft, but if you know Minecraft at all, Razorworks, he's the guy. You want a crazy farm, he'll get you your crazy farm. Why didn't I just put it in there? That would have been quicker. Let's pop it right in here. So what this does is there's all these coral blocks here. And there's one, this red one here, has a sea pickle on top of it. So what happens is the bone meal shoots down onto this sea pickle and sea pickle can either go up or down, but it has to be in water. So uh, it grows a sea pickle and then these pistons fire. It, and it does that in like five or six spots. And it grows a sea pickle, pistons fire. It grows it, you know, over and over. But these chests here... I, I'm not entirely sure why it has to be chests. I, I know it's because you can waterlog them because they're not a whole block. But they uh, they make it so that the the water doesn't like actually go like because if you did this without the chest there, if it was just a water block, it would go funky somehow. I don't know. Ray's works knows how it works. I don't, but I'll show you how it works and how fast and why I only ever need it at once. Yeah, you can see in there, the green sparkles are the sea pickles getting bone mealed. And then we come down here. And, like, it's just, and it's going in all these chests that fast. Like, well, okay, maybe not that one. Or that one. Maybe it's not working that well right now. But either way, I mean, you run it for a couple of stacks of bone meal. And you never need sea pickles again. I gave away so many sea pickles. Shut that off. It also, uh, I only ever use, oh, and I picked one up. 
I only ever used it when people weren't on the server because it would lag the server. <laughs> Uh, and then down, downstairs. Here it is. This is where the green wall is. My sky farmers. My alchemy. I had a, a potion shop too. So I got these alchemy stations here that just brew potions automatically. Uh, this is the mushroom farm. Yeah. It's a mushroom farm back in there. I'm not going to bother showing you. It's. What are these? Oh, splash potion of weakness. Nice. Yeah, there's the green monster. I, uh, it's a melon and pumpkin farm. <laughs> it just goes all the way up. It always kept me stocked. Holy shit, did it ever. Because these guys up here... Uh, is Wave Rider the right one? Yeah, it's got Riptide. So, I use Riptide to get up to see these guys. Yeah, and I can go in here and trade with them. I'm not going to let him out because I know where he'll go. And yeah, they just grow potatoes automatically. Uh, potatoes and carrots, actually, and dump them in here. And I go use those to trade upstairs with the other villagers. It's uh, it's a pretty good racket. Oh, actually. You can also use this to get out of here quicker. Uh, I mean, you used to be able to. I didn't fall all the way to the floor. I was one rung away. But I can fly, so I don't know why. I keep forgetting that I'm in creative mode. I never play in creative mode. Oh, you can't actually get out this way. I can't, I forget that because that used to be the way out. But what you do is you come out over here. And you come up here. Grab a boat out of the box. This is this is probably my favorite thing I built. Out of all the stuff in here. It's this. I hope it still works. Sometimes it, it didn't, but... Boop! <laughs> this pushes you right up to the surface. And here's my Poseidon statue I made. And my little... Little tiny Parthenon. I don't even know what you call it. I guess it's just a little temple. And he looks dopey, but I like him. I put this waterfall in. I don't know why. But yeah, here's the base from the outside. All the, Like I said, all this coral <laughs> was not here before. I put it all in myself. Uh, you know what? I think I actually have a bee farm. I think there's a honey farm down here. Yeah, there is in this door. I put my bees in here. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, there's uh, BF curtains. I don't know why they all came out at the exact same time. That was craziness. I'm out of here. The bees are crazy. And then I got my stable for my skeleton horses. I made it so it looks like in like a rib cage of either a sea monster or a whale or something. I got Skeletor. Uh, I guess the horse was no name. And old bones. And then up here is my. Uh, my trident farm. This thing was crazy. It was really hard because normally you make a trident farm and you just put a turtle egg in and the oh and you can actually rip tide all the way up these with a trident. Um so normally you make one and Okay, I cleaned it out pretty recently apparently. Must have been the last time I played. But yeah, normally you make one, you just put down a turtle egg. Oh, also the slimy, uh, the slimy thing. Uh, I used to have ladders here where I took them out for scaffolding. <laughs> but, uh, basically what you do, I don't know if they'll spawn because it's, uh, I'm in creative mode. Also, I can't see shit. Where's my, there we go. Sound like, oh, <laughs> Yeah. This is a fish death trap, too. But, uh, yeah, generally what would happen... Yeah, they're not spawning. Is it on peaceful? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Normal. Fuck it, let's go to hard, see if they spawn. Uh, yeah, one did. And yeah, he's right here. 
But yeah, this thing, oh man, is it ever crazy. But uh, I keep forgetting what I was saying. Normally what you do is you would put like, uh, you'd make like a glass house around something like this. And you put a turtle egg here so they think they can walk in and get a turtle egg. That doesn't work. Uh, or it would work now, I could do it. But it didn't work on the Volgarcraft server because we turned off mob damage because spawn started looking like a war zone because people were just going shopping and then like shit would explode on them. Where I can't find the way down oh, right here. So we turned that off. So I had to figure out how to do it. It turns out if you, uh, to start it, I would go up and I would just like either throw my trident or shoot a bow or just like punch one of them, like one of the drowned. And then they come, it come after me and then in the daytime what you could do um you send here and as you hit them they call out to their friends so as you hit as they're in here and you hit them they they call the other ones to come in that doesn't work in the daytime though so the daytime what you have to do is put your uh you have to put the water here and then you could hit them and then they call more in and you go and it was a really good experience farm really good uh man look at this though so much more draw distance than uh, we used to have. Oh, did one of them fall down in? No. They won't because I'm in creative mode. And for some reason I can't get out of it. But yeah, I was pretty proud of this. Place. Oh yeah, there's my cow farm. It's nothing special. It's just a fence with a whole lot of cows in it. But yeah, I really... Uh, this is season one. I was so glad when... Uh, we started this up and I still, I still love, you know, what I made and what everyone else made. Like here's area 69 over here instead of uh, area 51. That's why they got all these military things. There's like some, uh, there's some tanks and shit over here too. It never got finished. I think they did finish a lot more of it in the, the creative world, but now that's gone. I think, I don't know. There's gotta be a backup somewhere, but I, I don't have it. Yeah. They their surface day or missile thing and there. Uh, there's a whole barracks down here. There's like a, what's that, like a Matilda maybe? An ambulance, another, maybe that's a different Matilda. I don't play, play with a lot of Brits, so it's usually Brit tanks. What we can do, actually, I can, if I get out of this, can I actually fly? No. Oh, it'd be faster if I could just fly with my Elytra. Let me just do this. We'll go to the shopping district. I mean, this has got to be faster than flying, right? Oh, whose flags are these? Oh, just red flags. Okay, cool. I don't. I don't know if this is faster than just flying. Although I got, I've never ridden on it before because I always had my elytra with me, so I never had to worry. Actually, I wonder. Options. No. Yeah, you can't change game mode from there. We're almost there anyway. Yeah, this is the lighthouse, so we're almost there. And then I think this was, uh... Oh, jeez, I want... I want to say... It was Chris's bay, Chris's castle? Maybe? That or Lego Master's castle? Or no, I think I was hunting Chris one night, because it was his name on the Death Games. And I saw Lego Master over there. Oh, shit, and you can see the, uh... There's a big lion... It's like a Sphinx. It's only half done, though. I have no idea who is building it. Oh, we're here. Good day to you. We got somebody's turtle farm here. And we got... Uh, here's Sean's area. He built uh, this and, like, all this stuff for his villagers. Uh, what else? I don't know whose houses these are. But this was kind of the thing. Last season, we kind of... It's why we moved all apart this season. Is because last season we everybody built here. 
Like, I was one of the few people who left. Like, even Scotty's base is just right up there. Like, his, and then Spooky's just over here. But there's a TARDIS there. Oh! That's why there's a TARDIS in the... Oh, that's funny. There's a TARDIS in the current shopping area. I guess they built one here. <laughs> What's it say? This box shall be a gateway for season one and two. Enjoy, Mac. Yeah, that's cool. I was wondering why there was just a TARDIS sitting in the uh, um, Spooky's rocket shop. It's, you can tell because it's got a big rocket on it. Because me and Spooky, we think the same. Because this is my trident shop. You can tell because it's a big trident. Did I make any money? Oops. Oh, yeah. Nobody bought these. Oh, somebody bought the... Oh, right. I was going to give a... I was trying to buy everybody's banner to put in my base. But uh, hardly anyone took me up on it. I don't think there would be any payment there. It doesn't matter anyway. And this is my potion shop. You can tell because it's a giant potion bottle. This was a pain in the ass to build. Oh, yeah. It's Poseidon's Potent Potion Emporium. <laughs> It was the first few days I made a ton of money off this thing, but then nobody really bought potions anymore. I don't think most people use them in Minecraft. I know I never do. Yeah, it's pretty much fully stocked. But, I mean, it was fun. And we had Sezzy's Mini Mart right next door. Shopped here a lot at the start of the season. That was, that was a slime farm, yeah. It's, uh, I think this is another spooky farm. Uh, I forget who made the Cat Cafe. You're supposed to be able to go in and have tea with cats and stuff. It was kind of a funny idea. Spooky's Redstone Shop. Spooky had like 50 freaking things. Uh, last year. And this Scotty made this like day one so everybody could have food. But yeah, it kind of... Everyone just built like a little village house. And then a lot of them just left the server after that. Which is too bad because it was... Oh, speaking of Spooky, there's Spooky and Morgan. Uh, I want to say Morgan. Yeah, Scotty's castle is amazing. I wonder... Oh, this will be the half-finished one. He actually went back and finished it. But he didn't... Uh, I don't think this will be done. Oops. Just a great castle, though. Yeah, I don't think this is... Uh, maybe. I think there was more to it. Either way, it was really well done. Oh, I know. He did he he did get the castle done, but he didn't have the uh, the village. But the village is done too. Okay, so this is a later version of it. That's good. And then this is Spooky's area right here. There's uh, I remember there's a bone farm over there. Oh, that's uh, Scotty's starter area. And then uh, yeah, Spooky stuff's just down here. He had the iron farm last season. He, he we only needed one. He made a, this crazy iron farm that freaking everybody. Uh, Everybody used because it produced so much. <laughs> He's just got shit all around here. I love it. I love this base. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, the iron farm, he had to put an on-off switch on it, too. Because it was just lagging the server and shit like that. But, yeah. These were almost always full. Even when you come and take shit out. You take out, like, 15 block or 15... Things of iron and just it didn't even make a difference. It's it's just freaking it was so much. And his bee farms freaking produced a ton too, because uh, like mine this season, they don't produce nearly as much as I thought they would because I I use this farm as my example. But this farm is at spawn, so it's always loaded. Oh, you can't really hear it. Oh, fucking, it's just over. No, it's not. Now it is. Damn it. No, it's... I forgot it's not online. Uh, anyway, uh, I, hopefully you could hear a little bit of it. Uh, spooky set up so when it becomes nighttime, he's a big My Chemical Romance fan. And uh, it plays uh, the start of the Black Parade. When it goes to nighttime, so that he knows when to sleep. But yeah, he's got his uh, Etho door here. Pretty cool. 
uh, access is spelled wrong, but that's okay. This villager trading hall, I used to come here a lot. With, I'd just grab his iron if I needed emeralds or something, and i just trade with these guys. He never cared. Spooky's pretty cool like that. Like hey, He told me I could. I didn't just come and do it, because... This is a weird sheep farm. It's kind of... I guess it's just like a... Okay. Just like a bit simpler version of the one that I have. The other one. There's a villager breeder, which he hadn't used since the start of the season, but he didn't need to because he had so many freaking villagers. But yeah, that's a, this is a little tour of Volgarcraft Season 1. I think it's a good place to stop the... the, uh... The whole thing. Because the nether doesn't come over, so I can't show you. Like, what did I... I don't even remember what I did in the nether. I don't even know if I did anything. Oh, yeah, Raven's Zoo. She never got it finished because she had computer problems. But it was coming along really nice. Absolutely huge. I remember we, I donated a bunch of stuff to her. A bunch of other people did, too. Because it would have taken forever in survival to get all that material. Especially that freaking glass. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize the redstone on the lighthouse is still working. That's nice. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream here. And uh, that'll be it. I think, uh, I think I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not going to raid anybody tonight. But uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around, Lord. I know I'm pretty sure it's just you and my other account that are watching. So <laughs> thanks for that. If anyone else stopped in, you know, thank you too. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be tomorrow night.